well, we like to call it the gayborhood. Uh, so I would mix that term with like very bohemian, very hipster. Uh, all those things is a nice mix. You know, I guess that's Montrose, mm -hmm. modern day Montrose. Yeah. After opening in 2013, the Eagle quickly became one of Houston's most popular bars. But you can't celebrate the future without honoring the past. Sanctuary is a real word to describe this. You, you had to worry about who was watching you and it got better as the decades went on. Historian J.D. Doyle remembers what gay bars were like in the 1980s. Police raids were common. From 1937, what? the earliest bar we know of, a gay bar, had female impersonators at the club. And in early 1938, the head of the grand jury in Houston made a statement that he wanted to close that bar down. And the chief of police said, we don't really have any laws that allow us to do it. And a month later, it burned down. Over the years, there have been setbacks, but there has also been progress, like the election of one of the first openly gay mayors in 2009 and marriage equality passing in 2015. The bar even pays homage to Mary's Naturally, a place where so many LGBTQ advocacy groups in our city were formed. It opened in 1971 and closed in 2009, and it uh, kind of like made you feel safe and it gave space for many organizations to have meetings, to get together, to kind of get their first meeting started.